What's up guys, continuing on with the Chicago regional coverage, I have Alden Gill's Odd Grim deck profile, which he also used to get top 8. There's something slightly interesting about this build that I noticed that I really really like because it's a little different from all the other builds and I want to like really emphasize on it when I get to it because I think it's just really good for the game that he did this. So let's just hop straight into it and see what he's got. So unlike Quinn, he did want to play just a 4 hertz score, he didn't mind having to get split and get hit for, you know, 1200 over 900, so he just played 4, and then 4 flames and 2 magic stone of water. The resonator lineup is like extremely similar, it was like a couple cards off, but he had 4 Tinkerbells, 4 Cheshire Cat, 4 Hunter in Black Forest, 4 March Hare, then he had two Glindas, which was cited in Quinn's deck, four Oz, two Etna, one Rapunzel, one Little Dread, and three Blazers. For his spells, he used four Thunder, four Dreams of Wonderland, one Crime and Punishment, two Rapid Decays, and that's it. There is no splits. He has four of them cited, but there is no splits in the main, which I think is awesome. He pretty much proved that Ogrim can just be a really cool rush deck. I mean, of course, Split Heaven and Earth helps because you get to finish them off and it doesn't hurt you really bad. But I guess he anticipated that because so many people use Burn in the California regionals, um, that he didn't want to have a dead card possibly in the Chicago one. So he built his entire Ogrim deck without splits and then cited into them if needed. And he still got top eight, which I think is really cool. So congratulations to Alden for getting top eight and not using split. I can really like respect that. And then for his side, he had a little prince to heal off some damage, a Grim, just like uh, Quinn did, uh, one extra Glinda, which still equals up to three in total, just like Quinn, one Rapunzel, one Little Dread, two Kai's, a Gilded Ray, Crime and Punishment, only one Duel of Truth, an extra Rapid Decay, and then of course, like I mentioned, the four split heaven and earth. So once again, I just think that's really cool. Like he he technically didn't play a burn deck. There's no purifying flames, no splits in the main. He played an Ogrim deck, and I think that's really cool. I like the idea of not like you know if you lose that, you can't even be like oh man, I lost a split heaven and earth. No, you you just lost the Ogrim, which I think is really cool. So once again, just that's awesome. Thank you, Elvin, for making this a possibility. So there you guys have it, if you want to play a Grim Drill that's really fast, there's a lot of aggressive damage, and not want to play anything burn related, you can pick up Alden Gill's top 8 odd Grim deck profile, and side the splits just in case you're getting a little overwhelmed with the control matchup. Uh, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. As always, please make sure to subscribe so all my other coverage comes straight to you, and I will catch you guys next time.